What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out best beach walk near Amsterdam. So I'm guessing this dude right here is going to show us some cool views, cool places to walk by the beach in Amsterdam. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's see what sort of beaches they actually have in Amsterdam as well. So yeah, let's get right on to it guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. The like goal for this video will be 100. So let's get it guys. Let's get to 100 likes. I know we can do it. Let's try to do our best. And yeah, let's get on with the video. See what we got. Hello everyone. Today we're going to see beaches, sand dunes, forests, and probably finish the day with a jazz festival as well. In an old oh, jazz center. festival. That can mean Sweet. multiple things. But in this instance, Sweet, we're in in the Netherlands. Let's get it. It is time to do an 18 kilometer hike today, all the way from Sandport North Station through Canamadina, a national conservation area established in 1995, next to the coast, back through the dunes again. Bro, that's a long walk. Over Veen, Honestly. Take the train back to Haarlem. The area we will be walking through characterizes itself by sand dunes, but also coastal beaches and where we will go through first, some forests. It's really nice. Okay, so we're gonna see some hiking through Amsterdam through the forest along the beach pretty cool right let's check it out start hiking again after such a long while and whilst it's called the canamadino which is like the canamad dunes it's not the dunes yet here we first have the forest area wow and from here we should reach then the dunes and that would end up on the coastal path which is all connected around the like Dutch i mean coast. bro this place in the middle of nowhere i mean it must be like so quiet like you could probably hear the nature around you just imagine how peaceful that would be hear the birds the wind going through the trees the lovely breeze i mean that that's pretty cool you can go all the way from the south up to the north 729 kilometers i believe all the way of coastal path that you could walk we're not going to do that that would be a bit too long but it's a nice change from forest you can hear the wind as later. well the dunes and then the beach itself as well. What is that? Is that like mushroom? What is that? You might be wondering, I'm walking already quite a while mm. through the dunes, but... So, we arrived at the beach. Hmm. If you look around, yes, now the scent is slowly coming, but in general, there's a lot of grass around here as Wait, well. Wait, is this not the beach that, area? mainly because the sea blows the scent into this direction, and then also okay. from the sea, there's some food, like material, falling down onto the sand as well and that makes this grass grow with that the grass keeps the sand together it can grow bigger again and then the dunes are formed and it gives a strong protection layer here for the dutch people to protect them from the water hmm. however because of this the grass is also slowly starts to block the wind that means less food is coming into the into the dunes and therefore dunes are slowly getting weaker because the grass is getting old so what are the Dutch people doing? They cut some of the grass away, cut some like holes or sleeves from the seaside into the dunes so the wind has a free game. Okay. And move some of the old grass as well so it refreshes naturally over time. I see how it and goes. And that way a new strong layer of grass is growing again to protect the dunes and the dunes Smart, will grow bro. bigger in that way as well to protect us here from the water. Wow, lovely pathway. Now we leave the dunes behind us, we enter the beach. A brilliant... Look at that. Look at that view, bro. Black, lovely sand. Let's, let's check, out, blown away. check out the beach. By the fresh Dutch wind. With only 23 degrees, it is an ideal day to just walk around a bit. Before turning back into the dunes and stumble upon some highland cattle. The thing I hate when I go to beaches and it's like just flat and all sand i mean bro if there's wind during that day and you sit in the sand and you know when the sand blows and it hits your legs your your back i mean that really hurts you know i mean it's like spikes coming right at you you know so that, that's kind of annoying i would say island cattle is what a are these breed of rustic cattle okay and basically it is the natural land are they not dangerous after another hour of walking, we arrived at wow, Station Overveen. Wow, that's cool. That's cool, bro. Where we took the train back to Haarlem. 
In the meantime, if you would like to do this hike yourself, I have put the route information in the description below the video. Haarlem, with around 165,000 people, is the second largest city of the province, after Amsterdam, and the 13th biggest city of the Netherlands. 13th, it is mentioned okay. in history books for the first time in the 10th century, and during the medieval time it was one of the most important cities of the Netherlands. It has a rich history in industrial and textile industry and painting. Definitely a beautiful city to walk through. That is Especially true. Now, when in the evening the Jazz and Moor Festival is taking wow, place. Wow, look at the, that building, three stages bro. that are free to visit in the city area with not only jazz, but also with, for example, reggae or pop music. This festival okay. is taking place in the middle of August every year and a perfect way to finish a beautiful hiking day in this area of the Netherlands. That's it. Okay. Wow. I mean, bro, that video right there, that was pretty cool. I mean, lovely hiking trail, I guess. He said there was a link in the description below. Yeah, here it is. So if you, if you want to check his channel out, guys, link to original video will be in the description below. And yeah, let me know, guys, your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you did enjoy, go smash the like button, subscribe as well. And let's try to reach our 100 like goal for today's video. And yeah, we'll be seeing you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.